get some cloud movement into it, pick up a little bit of white, and where the, the, the yellow, or the gold actually, what we have here now, meets the purple, I'll just run in some basic cloud shapes. Uh, don't ask me what a basic cloud shape is. I really don't know. It's just some nice movement. It's interesting, and, and virtually any shape can be seen in a cloud. So just go ahead and do what you feel like doing, what makes you feel good. Just don't make cotton balls one after the other. Sometimes beginning artists especially do that. They just lay in a bunch of blobs of paint, and it doesn't look like anything but marshmallows floating around up there in the sky. You want to avoid that. Try to g give them some continuity. Uh, it's okay to have a few isolated dots down here because we want to create an illusion of distance. But up here in the foreground, closer to the viewer, I, I do want to have some distinguishable clouds, something that I can recognize as a cloud. Now that I've laid all that in, I'm going to blend it out, I'm just going to soften it out here. And it's going to give me the illusion of very, very nice clouds laying up there. This takes a little bit of time. So bear with me while I get it done. And then we'll move on to the next stage very, very soon. But we do have to blend this out. We don't want to leave it just lying there harsh the way it was when, when I applied it. If you look at the part that I've got blended and focus on that, and then look over at this part up here near the top that I haven't blended, you're going to see a world of difference. But we're not really painting or drawing or doing anything except just softening the edges of the paint. So if you compare what we've got done here with what we're about to do, you'll see what I'm talking about. It works very, very well. Got a little bit of red on the brush. That isn't going to hurt us, fortunately, because it works into this scene pretty good. But I'll just get rid of it down there. And now I'll continue and blend out this part so that you can see what I, pretty much what I'm talking about. That It just gives it such a beautiful, soft look that it makes you really think that it's clouds. And that's what you want to do. You want to get as, as close a look to uh, nature as you possibly can. <laughs>